it's stupidly hot, and yes, I'm looking like Rab CNS bit here in my vest, but I don't care. It's too warm, but I'm here to answer Tony's questions. So, uh, Mr. Thrussell, good to see you again. Nice to see the TFM videos back up. I must admit, when I first saw you pop back up on my screen uh, with these uh, do's and don'ts, I think it was, uh, that my first thought was, Jesus, lockdown's been tough on the T800. But <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was just you back with your questions, with your TFN hype, and you know what? I have missed it. I have missed it. So, yeah, I thought I'd get in under the questions. I've actually watched Ben Collectibles, Ben's Collectibles um, uh, answers to this while I was at the gym earlier on the treadmill, nothing like sweating, watching a bit of Ben, is there? Yeah, I thought I would jump in. I'd throw in my answers to these questions. So, question one is, when will you be arriving? Uh, I will be arriving... Maybe Friday, maybe Saturday. I haven't quite decided yet. I've only got a ticket for Saturday, though. Uh, but I might pop up say hello to some people on Friday, uh, as long as I don't get thrown out. Question two is, what am I looking for this year? Well... <laughs> When it comes to TFM purchases, I'm very much in the line of Excellent XLR, Brad's way of thinking. Uh, I buy the new toys when they come out and I'm not gonna save up and get them at TFM. Uh, I know John Borders do it and a few others do that. Um, I'm not interested in doing that. I buy them as they come along and that basically means I haven't really got a list. Um, I, uh, gone are the days where you can pick up the year's Titan at TFM. It doesn't look like that one's gonna hit. Um, but you know what, I, I'm just excited to have a look round, um, see what I find, that's that's the fun about TFN isn't it, you get to rummage, you get to look in places like Toy Fu. Um, some of the things I might keep an eye out for, um, in-demand toys I mentioned they might get some of the Velocitron line in, so if those are there I might pick up one of those, not really massively excited by it, there's only one or two I really want. Shattered Glass stuff, I've missed out a few of them on Prime, on um, Ratchet, on uh, Jetfire, so maybe one of those. Nice to pick up something G1, even though I haven't got many G1s that I actually need now. Um, but you know what, something along those lines. But I'm going to have a rummage, get something cheap, get something cool. I'm not going to spend a fortune like I used to. Um, maybe, maybe if it's there, pick up a Masterpiece RC to replace my fans toys Rouge. Um, which I'm thinking about shifting on. But other than that, you know, I'm just going to have a look round. And if I don't get any of those things I mentioned, it doesn't really matter, does it? Because um, I'll find something there. We all do, don't we? So what is my travel playlist? Well... Get your umbrellas, get your umbrellas. It's raining, fellas, it's raining, fellas. Get your umbrellas, get your umbrellas. I can pull quite a few off. Well, I haven't really got to go too far. I'm only about 25 minutes, half an hour down the road from the Hilton, so I'll, I'm, I'll probably just stick the Transformers the movie soundtrack on, as everyone else will. Um, but yeah, maybe I'll stick that tune on and all. So will I be getting any commissions this year? And I won't be, but I have done a commission for my good friend Exilian XLR, um, where he's commissioned me to do a piece of his friend Dave Shotton, where that I like to call uh, the happy rear end. And this is a portrait of Dave's naked bottom with a tattoo of Dave on there, so you can let everyone know what it is, with a, a Mattel 1990s Hulk Hogan action figure inserted in his anus. Um, now, Brad really wanted this piece of work to represent the tight, tight bond between him and Dave, and the, the sad sad fact that Dave's not going to be actually make it to this TFN. So Brad really wanted something to to hold on to. <laughs> so will I be getting any non-transforming toy tat? Um, well, I was thinking of trying to acquire one of Thu Adams's pubic hairs, probably at the bar about half ten at night when he's a bit pissed up. Um, but failing that, uh, probably not. Right? I know Tony actually means that, you know, lunch boxes and pencils and all that kind of stuff, even stuff from the forge. Um, probably not. Um, I haven't got any room for art in here um, and the stuff I've done is so I've got I'm happy with. So uh, I probably won't be getting anything uh, unless I stumble across something. The only thing that I would like and it's something I missed out on when I was a kid. It's like this Soundwave pencil case that transforms. If I saw one of those at a decent price, I probably would pick it up. 
Will I be getting any autographs? Well, I'll be honest with you, there's only one autograph I'm thinking of getting, and that's Gary Chalk. Uh, I haven't met him before. I know he's been at previous TFN or Auto Assembly events, but it'd be good to meet him. I'm not sure what I'm going to get signed yet, but I'm swaying towards getting him to sign Simon Furman. What is my drink of choice? Uh, I'm going to go for Strawberry Nesquik. Now, joking aside, I don't drink anymore. Um, I haven't drank for about four years, so I probably will have a non-alcoholic cider and then cry at the price because it'll probably be about seven quid a bottle and then just drink the free water. <laughs> so, but that's probably what I'll be doing and saving me money. So am I a convention noob or a veteran? I'm, well, I wouldn't disagree with Ben's Collectibles here because he said he wasn't quite a veteran, he's just experienced, which is kind of the definition of a veteran. Um, but I would say that I'm a veteran. I've been to every TFN so far. I went to the last auto assembly. I've been around for a while. Um, I know how these things work. So, I yeah, I'd say I'm a veteran. Um, I, I'm... I've been around enough to, to, to get that tag and I'm grey enough now and I'm old enough so yeah I'd say I'm a, I'm a bit of a veteran. Will I be going to any panels? Now it's quite interesting because the Hilton has had a, a decor change and I'm hoping they have gone for some kind of panelling around certain areas so if they have gone for panels around the bar I will go and have a look at those panels see what the woodwork's like um, see if they've gone for any kind of beading or or dado rail or anything like that see if they've gone for those type of panelings um, but yeah I'll, I'll have a look around but really I'm there for transformers not for the woodwork and that's the end of Tony's questions um, it was great to see Tony uh, giving his advice in his do's and don'ts video uh, as he always does basically get drunk save some money for some food but then piss it up the wall on the last day and make sure you wash your pits because no one likes a stinky bastard um, which is great, um, but I think, I'm not sure, I think someone might be trying to steal Tony's crown. Teach me how to count, and all about the personal hygiene, teach me how to count. With Andy Wright from Transformers The Show. If you are going to TF Nation, you go into the Trader Hall, please, for the love of God, shower and put on deodorant, because when that place gets packed and it's hot, it's... <laughs> Oh man, it stinks in there. So just basic, basic personal hygiene. So yeah, those are my answers to Tony's questions. It was a bit of fun, wasn't it? Uh, I look forward to having a laugh with you all at TFN. Really excited to see you uh, and see who's there. And uh, hopefully I won't be wearing a vest there, but we'll say, maybe I will. Who gives a fuck?